everybody, it's Jasmine. So today I am going to be doing my birthday get ready with me. I am so excited. Today is my birthday eve. My birthday is on Monday, April 8th, which is when this video will go up um, because I have school on Monday, so I don't really have time to like do a get ready with me on that day. Um, but luckily, today my boyfriend is kind of doing like a surprise birthday thing for me today. So I'm just gonna get ready. I did my nails last night on myself. Look it, look it this gold like it hella extra okay so I already have moisturizer on my skin and I'm gonna do a lot of skin prep today so um, let's get started by the way I don't know if I mentioned it um, and if, I don't know if you guys know but I'm 21 now um, so maybe I'll get my first drink and by the way I'm not a drinker that's something that should always be noted I am NOT a drinker I don't know what it is, Smashbox Primerizer. I just think alcohol tastes disgusting. It tastes disgusting. So I don't drink for that reason. There has been times where like, you know, I took sips, you know? So I'm not quite like an alcohol virgin, but when it comes to like full drinks to myself, I'm like, oh, like, like, I don't know, man. So I know the Smashbox Primerizer is also a primer, but it's not going to be my main primer today. So we're still going to prep the skin. Um, I am going to go with some eye cream. So I have the Mamonde Eye Cream. This is their Floral Hydro Eye Gel Cream. This stuff is really good if you're looking for instant hydration. As far as like anti-wrinkle, this won't do it. This will definitely not do it because I find that whenever I do concealer, my under eyes still crease, so it doesn't really do a good job with anti-aging and firming. For the rest of the skin, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream. I just bought this. I heard some people talk about it, and you know, now that I've tried it, it's actually pretty dang good. It looks like it's going to be a thick moisturizer, but when you blend it into the skin, it's pretty thin and it really packs a punch. So I'm loving that and I'm just going to rub this into my skin and then with whatever is left, take it down the neck. I don't know the weather today, but that's not going to stop my outfit, which is, if you watched my outfit haul, the fashion haul, um, I showed you guys a Charlotte Russe jumper. It's blue. I'm going to wear that today. Um, so I am going to do SPF because you should no matter what. And this one is really good because it's tinted, so it doesn't give you flashback. Well, not as much of a flashback as regular sunscreen, so this one's really good. It's by Coats. I can't believe I'm 21. Ew. Eh, 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 eh. 21. Oh my god, that's my anthem today. Fire by 21 is my anthem today. Just that part. And if you do not know that song, you cannot claim to be a K-pop fan. You can't. You really can't. You cannot. It's illegal. So this morning, my boyfriend surprised me with Kara's cupcakes. Oh my gosh, touch and soul, no poor own primer. I am loving him right now because all I wanted for my birthday was nothing but cakes and Kara's cupcakes. And my favorite flavor in any type of cake is carrot cake. I love it carrot cake. I might just be an old soul, but carrot cake to me just has so much flavor, so much depth, and then like the cream cheese frosting. Oh, yes. I feel like a sister flavor to carrot cake is like a gingerbread, and I hate gingerbread. Like I hate anything gingerbready. So carrot cake is always my favorite whenever I'm getting something. So I'm going to move on into complexion. So I'm going to take a darker concealer. This is by ColourPop. They're no filter. This is medium dark 32. And I'm going to color correct my acne with this because I find that it works faster, easier, and it just, I don't know. It's just better in my opinion than actually going in with like a green corrector or like anything like that. Let me be honest, I am so bad when it comes to planning for myself. I love planning for other people, but to myself, I just, sometimes I feel like maybe 
I don't care about myself as much as I care about other people and that, uh, it's, it's like a good and bad thing because like yes I care so much about other people but then at the same time I come home to myself so I should take care of myself so the two palettes that I kind of just took out was Makeup Revolution and Emily the Wands and then my single shadows um, and I always feel like I take out my single shadows whenever I'm like I don't know um hmm okay that's gonna be hard because I really don't know okay well let's finish the complexion and um we'll see from there so like I said my birthday's on Monday I have school that day which I mean oh I hate so much but you know what it's fine I'm gonna have like a really long day because Mondays are my longest days I'm literally at school for eight hours and I just can't I can't um and I also have a midterm that's going to be handed to me on my birthday. So... Right. So what you're saying is, I need to drop out. No. <laughs> I'm just taking my favorite foundation combination, which is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop and the Catrice HD Liquid. You guys know this is kind of what I go for whenever I am doing, you know, full beat, full glam. So I am going to mix this on with a brush instead of my fingers today because I do have nails and then I'll paint it onto my skin so now that we're kind of like in the middle of the tutorial and like half the people who clicked on this video initially are gone um I always have anxiety when it comes like to my birthday like I cried about it last night ew um but I just get anxiety around my birthday because ever since I was growing up and even until like now Whenever I invite somebody like to celebrate my birthday, they always flake out on me. And there's always like one person who will like help celebrate it, but it never feels important. And I know like it shouldn't be about me, but at the same time, it's my birthday and it should be about me. Okay, okay, I sound really selfish and I sound really bad, but mm, bear with me. I never feel like it's celebrated because in my family, my sister's birthday is a week after mine. So every single time we celebrate my birthday, last year for example, it was supposed to be my birthday dinner because it was my weekend. And my family went ahead to sing happy birthday to her when they told me specifically it was for my birthday. And so, in like, just set, like in circumstances like that I just never feel like oh it's my day um, and I just feel like other people either get celebrated or I'm just not treated as like oh it's your birthday like what do you want or like I, I'm like, mm, like oh I don't want it to sound the wrong way but like that's like the best I can describe it so when I was growing up in school and I would invite my friends and mind you, I would invite a lot of people to just like go to lunch with me. Very simple. Um, they wouldn't want to go. And that just like trigger it triggers me a lot because whenever it comes to my birthday and then someone's like, oh, well, I can't make it. I'm just like, wow, like nobody wants to celebrate my birthday. And that's honestly just like just me because of how I was treated in the past. And like it's always been like that every single year. And the only birthday that was ever really good was my 18th birthday and that was because um in high school that was senior ditch day also and it was also um senior trip so no seniors were at school and i was a senior so me and my friends just ditched school and then we like went out together which was very nice and that's why i have such a strong hold and connection to my senior year of high school because I think that was the best year of my life honestly genuinely I I think I was the happiest my senior year of high school like in my entire life I I that sounds really sad and depressing oh my god but it's true it's really true bless you I don't want it to like bring down this day obviously but 
it's just like a topic you know it's a topic that kind of goes in with like the birthday theme and I just always want to be honest with you so that's kind of why I just brought it up but yeah I don't know if you guys ever feel the same way and it would be amazing if like somebody else felt the same way because sometimes we just feel alone sometimes we just need that extra reassurance that like yeah somebody else is going through this as well along with me so that I don't feel like I'm crazy and I don't feel like I'm alone so I just applied my concealer this is the Catrice a liquid camo I did true beige actually no is this true beige light beige I did light beige um and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out I just waited a few seconds until I blended it out because I don't want to be too crazy with this I am going to do cream contour today because you never know. Um, so I'm just going to take another Catrice concealer and this one is actually in the shade Bronze Beige. Um, it's not too dark um, for my skin as you can see it's like very light like probably like two three shades darker. Um, and I'm just going to apply this in areas where I want that uh, bronzy effect. Um, this is like a very neutral shade. So it's not quite a contour, but not quite a bronzer. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out with the clean side of my sponge. And I'm going to take my time because we don't want any lines around the perimeter of our face. Before I go in with powder around my face, I do want to do my eyebrows. So I'm thinking of doing a brow pommy today. And the brow pommy that's like in my face right now is the Shot Miss A1. I have been filling in my eyebrows with their E147 brush in their Bon Voyage kit. Really good. I love this so much because it really does fill in the eyebrows so fast. I love it. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this through the brow. Yesterday, I was doing prom makeup. I did eight girls makeup. Yeah, you could say my back hurts a little, <laughs> but it was so worth it. I loved it. I did my best friend's little sister. I call her my sister. Um, I think my best friend's family is like my second family, honestly. And they took me out um, after we sent off my younger sister, you know, my fake younger sister, to prom. Um, my best friend's parents took me out and it was really sweet. I was going to cry. It was very emotional because they told me they loved me and it was like <sighs> But it was so good to see my best friend yesterday Because since we're both in college like we go to different colleges It's so hard to see each other around my birthday, but we do try and make efforts But this is the first time in years where we got it like super close to my birthday and I'm very very thankful about it so I was so happy I was able to see her after I finished all the makeup and right away the one thing I needed to buy after I finished the makeup, after I got my coins, um, I bought this big pack of Polaroid film at Target and it's because for Christmas I was gifted a little Instax film uh, camera and I didn't have any film and I was like man I don't have money to buy it but now that I had money I was like I'm gonna go buy it and then now I'm gonna use my Polaroid for my birthday so it all worked out in the end and I'm living for it I'm so happy about it and as always brow powder never optional always mandatory I have to do it no matter what yesterday I actually didn't do it because I had to leave the house at like 6 in the morning I didn't get home until maybe around like 8.30 at night and then I didn't go to sleep until like midnight because I wanted to do my nails. Oh my god, my voice cracked like a little boy. I was debating all yesterday because I do my own nails and you know, like they're okay, like they're not like professional. But I was like, man, do I want to treat myself and go to the salon and do it or do I just want to do it myself because I already have like the polish that I wanted to use in mine, this gold. <laughs> Which I'm sure they probably had at the salon, but I was so fixated on this gold. I don't know, it was just, so I just went home and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it because I want my gold. My gold, not the salon's gold my gold. 
So since today is a very special day, I'm gonna go into my Fenty powder because She's expensive. So I have the shade Banana. The last time I used this was in the last Get Ready With Me that I filmed and that was for me and my boyfriend's anniversary. And this powder did not give me flashback, which was beautiful. My boyfriend took a flash photo of me with, his, with my phone because his phone was dying. And I was like, oh my God, let me see that photo. And it actually, I did not have flashback at all. So I was very impressed because I put it all over my face. I'm gonna do that today because when you do that, it allows the makeup to really set in place and really not move. Might as well take whatever is left on that sponge, put it on your eyes to set it. I love how I'm having a great skin day. This pimple right here, it's not as big as yesterday. And I, I covered it completely with concealer but I'm so happy I'm not having skin issues right now because last year I had really bad skin because of that whole reaction thing with um, that brush. So I'm really happy that it's looking really good. Do I wanna, do I wanna do that? Should I do that? Yeah, she will do it. I will do it. All right, so my single eyeshadows, majority of the ColourPop shadows in here are discontinued. Um, so I'm probably going to be working in like this like range right here, those nudes. Um, the top four is the Heavy Hitter and then the second four is the Gemini by Night. So I will be using those as like transitions today. Um, I'm not going to really tell you guys the shades because they're discontinued anyway, so... So I'm deciding to go in with neutral tones a little bit today because I realized that my jumper has a little bit of gray on it. So if I went with warm tones, it would kind of like look a little weird. So I'm going to go in with as many neutral tones as I can. Also, can you believe last week I uploaded five videos? Who told me that was okay? Kind of just made everything interesting last week, right? I thought so. So I don't really know <laughs> what videos to film this week now because normally I kind of like have a general idea, but since it's my birthday week, I, I genuinely feel like this whole week's just gonna be tutorials of like getting ready for my birthday. Like, I don't know. Um, do I think I'm going to vlog? Honestly, genuinely, I don't know because I'm that person. This is why I don't vlog. I am the person that likes to live in the moment. As weird and as ch cheesy that sounds, I like to live in the moment. But really, I, I'm not the type of person to whip out my phone and be like, oh, I gotta Snapchat this and save it. Oh, I have to take a video of it and save it. Oh, I have to take a picture and save it. I like to live in the moment and experience it and get like the full experience of what's happening. And I don't know, a lot of people are like that as well, but I feel like since I'm on YouTube, there's just this overwhelming amount of pressure to vlog everything. Because I understand like you guys wanna know like what's going on in my day. And you know, I, I can understand that, but at the same time, that's like just not me personally. So that's probably why I don't vlog, but I will try. I will try my hardest to vlog today, hopefully. Um, no guarantees, no promises. Okay, so then I'm taking another darker brown. This is a little bit more neutral. And I am going to go ahead and apply this in the outer corner. And then I'm also going to bring it up into my crease because we are going to do a cut crease. So we want to make sure that depth follows along the entire eye. So I'm having like different ideas in my head now about like what I want to do with my makeup. I definitely want to go in with the gold right here. But also I'm looking at my collaboration eyeshadow, the thank you so much eyeshadow. This one. And since I'm wearing blue, I'm like, I think I want to incorporate that in the look. I think it will be super pretty. I have it, in, I have it in my mind. I have it pictured. So I'm going to do that today as well because why not? You know what? This is my collaboration. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, so 
I'm just going to just finish up blending here and then we'll make the cut and then we'll add that shade. All right, so I was having troubles because I was trying to match my nails to gold in my collection and I genuinely feel like this shade right here is a little too yellow but I think on the eyes they will kind of dull out. Um, this is part of the Shop Miss A Foxy collection, um, this shade right here and then this is my collaboration Thank You So Much with Glam by Carly Cosmetics. So I am thinking of doing inner corner gold and then middle of the cut crease is going to be the blue. So let's go ahead and get the brush ready. Today I'm using my Juno & Co ES17. It's a very fluffy concealer brush type of situation and oh yeah I was right I was right I'm going to pack it on because this gold here is a little chunky but that's kind of good because so is my nail polish so <laughs> I mean I guess there's a time and place for everything right okay so now that the gold is applied I'm gonna go in with the other side of the brush Take my blue, ooh, she's pigmented, I can already tell. I'm gonna tap it off on the back of my hand and then I'm going to pat it. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna repeat this on the other eye before I go in and blend because this color is really creamy. Not like creamy and like a wet cream, but like it's creamy so that there's just a lot of pigment that picks up with it. So now you want to take that gold and then just blend the edge ever so slightly. Okay, so now I'm going to do a wing with my Joa I'm So Fly Liner. Ooh, it looks so good. Wings are kind of even, so now I'm going to go into some black eyeliner. Since it's a special day, I always go back to my Sigma eyeliner pencil in the shade Wicked. And I'm going to go ahead and tight line my eyes. So, I got two places in mind I want to go. Uh -huh. I want you to pick one. Uh -huh. Breakfast, we're going to go equal regardless. Okay. But I mean, either the zoo or the 3D mm -hmm. museum, the one where you could like, like take pictures and look like you're falling and shit like that, in San Francisco. I want to go to a 3D museum. Okay. It's like, I don't know how to explain it, but I've seen it and like, my friends always go there. Oh my gosh. I want to go there. We got to be back because my parents want to do you something. Want to do your dinner. Is that fine? Okay. I don't know if I should just give you another gift right now. Another two gifts. Should I just wait? It's up to you. You're the gift giver. Well. Well. Dude, I'm so bad at this. I really want to give you your gift. What's stopping you? That it's not my actual birthday. My my birthday is on Monday. Yes. What lashes should I wear? Should I wear something? Ooh, I'm gonna wear some lily lashes. <laughs> I've been sitting next to this box this whole time. So. I did already wear Mink Hollywood. I do want to look at my other options because I want something a little bit lighter today. Um, hmm. Carmel looks beautiful. It's a tapered eyelash and that's really calling me. Oh, and by the way, um, when I last used the Lily Lashes glue, that one was actually really good. So I'm going to use it today with this one because my Kiss eyelash glue is getting to the point where um, I'm running out of it and it's very chunky and I don't want the chunky glue to be on a nice eyelash. So I will be using the Lady Lashes glue again. I just want to look as good as you. You can't look as good as me. <laughs> it's my birthday. So I, I you, If you went to a wedding, you cannot look better than the bride. You cannot. That's illegal you will go to jail I'm gonna let the lashes sit and dry you might hear my boyfriend in the background D just ignore him <laughs> so I'm gonna go into some brown eyeliner I'm gonna take the my looking glass brown eyeliner and I'm gonna line my waterline my lower lash line is gonna be pretty simple it's 
probably just going to be the browns that I used in my crease. Um, so something very light and very airy because I don't want, babe, they can't see you. I don't want, um, you know, my eye makeup to be too heavy because I want the focus to be kind of my outfit today. So I'm going to take that transition shade and just blend. I'm going to take my time blending down here because I did drag the eyeliner a little far down. So there's a lot of room for me to just bring it down and smoke it out. On the tip of that brush, I'm going to take the darker shade that I used in my outer corner and I'm going to apply this right in my lash line. This may not be dark enough because I actually like my lower lash line to have a little bit more definition than this because you guys know me, I just like to really define right where my lashes are down there and I think that this color is not enough. So I'm still going to play with a little bit of color. I'm going to take this dark purple here. This is from the Saucy palette from I Love Sadie in ColourPop and I'm going to go ahead and put that there. This is going to add that drama that I wanted the slightest bit like you probably can't even tell but I can all right and then let's go ahead and apply these lashes oh beautiful yes love that I am going to fiddle around with it a little bit more who do I think I am saying fiddle like am I Rumpelstiltskin like who am I Naturally, today I just have to use the best products. I'm actually loving these lashes. This one feels a little weird for some reason, but it could be because the glue is still a little tacky. This one's completely dry, so it feels completely fine. So I'm going to go into bronzer. I'm going to take my Alexis Ren and ColourPop Topaz Bronzer Duo, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. This is the ES16 by Juno & Co. And just doing an overall bronze because I love this stuff. And since we already did a like creamy contour, it wasn't a contour, it was more like a bronze, um, we are just going to set that in place so you don't actually need a lot of powder because there's already that um, depth effect to the skin. So this is just going to enhance it just a little bit more and it will last all freaking day. Last year at Ulta, I got the NARS Orgasm Blush as a free gift for my birthday. So I'm going to use that this year for my birthday. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And I'm kind of living for it. Um, it could be the fact that I'm using on a very big fluffy brush that it doesn't pick up like too pink. Because as you see, it's like bright pink in the package. I am going to do a little bit on my nose. A little bit on my chin because why not mm, just a nice overall blush look and today I'm gonna go in with my shot Masse Powell lighter in the shade Astro oh my god this stuff is so amazing I've been hyping it up for the past month now and it is just so amazing if you haven't tried it now's your time to try it like what are you waiting for it's actually amazing and are you seeing this like it is already I like to smile and apply it so that in every single angle, not this angle because this angle is for this face, but front facing this way and this way, you'll be able to see the highlight. And since today I want my eyebrows to be extra en fleek, I'm going to go ahead and set it with eyebrow gel. This one's the one by Glam by Carly. I have the shade dark. I'm just going to go ahead and comb this through my brows. This one actually feels like hair gel for your brows. It puts the hairs up all day or whatever direction you face your brows. You will have bulletproof brows with this. The first time I tried it, I didn't expect anything from it. And then I was like, oh my god, literally my brows lasted so so long. I like salted ball sex. Oh yeah? Really? Mm -hmm. It's so oh my god. Thank you, makeup. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. For lips, you guys know me. I love my nudes. I'm gonna do a nude today because why the heck not? <laughs> 
So I want the longest lasting lip today and I'm gonna go in with my longest lasting lip combo. I'm gonna start off with the BH lip liner and I'm gonna follow that up with the CoverGirl Cakewalk liquid lipstick and setting it all in with the NYX London Soft Matte Lip Cream. It is the best combination and it's very slept on. Now I am reserving, because my favorite nude is the MAC Naturally Transformed. I'm saving that for tomorrow. Today, it's gonna be my other favorite nude, you know? Okay, so now is the important part, setting spray. Now how do I want my makeup to last? Ooh, I know. So I'm gonna go in with my Catrice Prime and Fine setting spray. This is their long lasting one, <laughs> go figure. And I'm gonna go ahead and generously spray this on my face. I got my boyfriend saying like the weirdest things. Like he, he says thank you so much. He says the best. Yeah, <laughs> like it's so weird. He's, he's like getting like my lingo, which is so funny. I wonder if you guys are getting that too. I don't know if I like, okay, I think for my bangs, I think I kind of liked it like that where I had it like this. Should I bobby pin it? Yeah, because I'm. So, I love. I love these clips, but I think for the sake of today and for the sake of the aesthetic, I think. I think bobby pins would um would be a little bit better. Let me just pin this in place. Oh man, my bangs. They come out. I think that's fine if my bangs do come out, right? How fine? Is it fine? Is it really okay, Jasmine? I'll just leave it down. <laughs> Alright, that wraps up this video. Hope you guys all enjoy. I just want to say thank you in advance for all the birthday wishes. Um, I haven't gotten any yet, but, um, you know, I just wanted to say thank you. And thank you guys so much for always being here and always watching my videos. Um, I did decide to pin back my hair. Um, I just decided to do, like, the top right here because of my bangs. And then I did small half hoops. Um, for my earrings that I got from Claire's a million years ago. Um, I got this new necklace from Bless and Well Dress Boutique on Instagram. I'm wearing my, uh, me and my boyfriend's promise ring. And then the jumper again is from Charlotte Russe. Since it is cold, um, <laughs> I decided to wear a long sleeve shirt under this. I don't even know if it looks good. Let me zoom out too, because I'm, I'm like kind of confused on like how I like it. Like, it looks like this. I mean, it's cute, right? I think it's cute. But thank you guys so much for always being here. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs>